Hello everyone, welcome to Chapter 3, Section 6 of the online video course Chinese Traditional Culture and Spiritual Healing. My name is Wen Chao, a teacher at Guangdong University of Foreign Studies. What does a man that finds his real self look like? I would like to share a true story with you. This summer, a girl named Zhong Fangrong was a trending hashtag on Weibo. She is the left behind girl, a child who is left behind by his or her parents, who went to the city to do odd jobs. However, she is independent and self-reliant and finished fourth in the liberal arts of Gaokao, Chinese college entrance examination in Hunan province. After she got a high score, millions of netizens sent their best wishes true hope for the whole village. However, this impoverished straight A student applied for an unpopular major in Peking University, archaeology. Many netizens could not understand. Some said, you are gonna cry when landing jobs, and the employment of this major will give you a hard lesson. You finally went to Peking University. Why not choose a popular major? I am afraid your teachers are all disappointed. Archaeology will not make you rich. Children from this kind of family should choose a major that can make more money after graduation. In this regard, Zhong said that what I choose is the Department of Archaeology at Peking University so my basic life requirements can be guaranteed after I have a job. I like it, and that is enough. Netizens offered their praises and congratulations to this girl. Half of the archaeological community expressed support for Zhong through official announcements or by sending gifts. So she was also known as the archaeological community's favorite. I watched Zhong Fangrong's interview with CCTV reporters several times and was deeply moved. I think she is the child who found her own self. Her stance and devotion to her self-image really impressed me. When the reporter asked her whether she sought other people's suggestions when making such an important choice in life, her answer was no. She said her families did not know how to choose majors properly, and she has been interested in history since her childhood. So, it only took a few minutes to decide to apply for archaeology of Peking University. It shows that Zhong has a clear understanding of herself since she was a child. So, she is so determined in her life choices. Her parents are migrant workers. Although they are not able to create a growth environment where they can accompany her wholeheartedly, nor could they give their opinions on her future development, they gave her full respect and unlimited growth space. More importantly, her parents did not interfere with Joan's interest with the parental will. Instead, they did their best to create external conditions for her self-development so that she can attend the best local middle school, and they did not put pressure on her, as long as she tries her best. These mentioned above are important prerequisites for Zhong to find the passion of her life and have the courage to pursue her passion at a very young age. Zhong received an encouraging letter from her idol, Fan Jingshi, a famous archaeologist. She wrote in her reply, Professor Fan chose Dun Huang and chose to stick to your position. You became the daughter of Dun Huang and found a place to settle your soul. I hope to follow your footsteps. So I chose archaeology in Peking University and to dedicate myself to it. I also hope I can find a retreat for my soul. 
Normally, to profess one's love to a celebrity is, in most cases, to praise his or her external achievements. But Zhong did not do that. She is a fan of Professor Fan, not because of the worldly achievement Professor Fan has gained, but because Professor Fan has resisted the external temptations and distractions, followed her internal desire, and insisted on her preferences. Hence, Professor Fan has got the peace of mind. That is what Zhuang Zi called 自视其事 self ease, and that is exactly what Zhong Fangrong expects for herself. But also, her psychological motivation for making such an out of fashion choice. When the reporter asked whether she could stick to her choice, she said, "I think I can make it." I can persist in doing what I'm not willing to do. Therefore, I will stick longer to what I am interested in. Her answer is textbook level. On the one hand, she is sincere and determined. The determination stems not only from the deep passion in her heart, but also from her perseverance in life, which enables her to make the best of things. So she can persevere in doing what she is not fond of. On the other hand, she is free and not stubborn. She is not kidnapped by the expectations of public opinions. Her answer is "I think I can" instead of "I can." She said, "I will stick to it longer" instead of "I will stick to it forever." She does not use what she likes to set a limit for her future. Out of expectation from others, she is still young, and her picture of life is far from unfolding. So she is unlimited possibilities. She will always be loyal to her heart. If one day she finds something she likes better, she will still bravely transcend the mundane and run towards her true self. I sincerely hope this girl who has found herself. Who is independent, sober, sincere, firm, tenacious, free, and brave can live her own life that she has the final say and find a place where the soul aspires to visit. Professor, what if Zhong Fangrong can't find a good job after graduation and can only make a little money? What if she finds that she is stuck in life because she sticks to her dream? I have said over and over again in my courses that there are three types of business in the world: is our own business, the second is other people's business. And the third is heaven's business. We just do what we care for, and whether we succeed or not is up to heaven. It is already a reward from heaven to be involved in what we are keen on. So the result is not that important. Moreover, I also believe that as long as one does what he likes, his life in the future will not be too bad. Just as Taoism said. 无为而无不为 act according to nature, and nothing can't be done. 无为 means doing according to nature and not acting rashly. Taoism believes that as long as we do what we like according to our nature, we will definitely be blessed by Tao, and will eventually dance with the tune of the world as we do what we like by following Tao. Therefore, we have seen that both in history and reality, many people who have bravely chosen the career they love are blessed by fate in the end, although they may be ridiculed and repeatedly frustrated by reality at first. That is what the philosopher Kant said: "Purposive without purpose." It means one does not have the purpose to achieve secular success, but he succeeds as a result. Therefore, 
you just mind your own business, and heaven will arrange your fate properly. Before we finish, I have two questions for you to think about. You can see them on the screen now. Please pause the video to think about them, and continue when ready. One, if you were Zhong Fangrong, would you choose an unpopular major in a renowned university? Two, do you agree that you just mind your own business and heaven will arrange your fate properly? Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.